When you're creating a new record using an automation like a flow in Salesforce, wouldn't it be great if you could just enable something that says check for matching records before you create the new record? That way you could just prevent duplicate records from being created. Now, generally speaking, if you want to do this right now, you'll have to add quite a bit of logic onto your flow to check for any existing records that match a certain criteria and then do something if it finds the record or if it doesn't. With Summer 24 flow enhancements, we have this feature. We can just enable it, give it a criteria, and the element will do that for us. We don't need any extra logic. Let me show you what I mean. Here we are in Salesforce and we are just looking at an account record and I have already created a screen flow to demonstrate this feature. So on the right hand side, we have a screen flow that's essentially going to create new contacts for our account. So as you can see here on the contact related list of this Acme account, we don't have any contacts just yet. So we're going to use our screen flow to create one. And I'm just going to call this test contact one. The email is going to be test at email.com. It's already picking up the account for us, which is great. We can add a seniority level. We'll just say CEO, doesn't really matter. Now we're going to create this contact. So if you look on the left-hand side now under contacts, we've got our test contact one and the email is test at email.com. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use the same flow to create another contact. We're going to call this test contact two and the email is going to be the same test at email.com. Now I'm going to add the seniority level again, CEO, this doesn't really matter. And I'll explain why when we look at the flow. Now, when I create this contact, watch what happens to our existing contact. Instead of creating a new contact that's related to this account, which is generally what would happen, what's happened is it's found an existing contact with the same email address and it updated that contact instead. Even though I'm using a create element in my flow, it didn't create anything, it updated an existing record. So let's have a look at this flow and how this works. Essentially what I'm doing is just getting the account and putting it into a record ID. I need this because I want the lookup field to be auto-populated. Then when we look at the screen component, this is really straightforward. I'm just adding some field components here so I can capture information to create my new record. You can add anything you want here. This is exactly the same as it was before. Whenever you make a screen flow and you want to capture information, this is how you do it. You can add components like text components, or you can go to the fields tab, create a variable for the object you're working with and drag and drop those fields. I've got a mixture of both. So first name, last name, these are just text field components and then email seniority level. These are actual um, record variable fields from the fields tab. You can do it in whichever way. Then after that, we have a create record element. Now in this element, what we're doing is we're creating a contact record. We're mapping some of those fields that we've captured on our screen flow with the desired values. But then if we scroll down, we have this option at the very bottom that says check for matching records. So what we've done is we've enabled this option and then this other condition requirements will appear and you can add the criteria. So in this example, the criteria that we're using is the email address. So what we're doing here is we've selected the email address as our criteria so we can check that against other records. And then essentially we just have to answer some questions. So the first one is if a single matching record exists, and that is if a single matching record exists with the same email address, because that's the criteria we're using, then what do you want to do? Do you want to update the matching record or do you want to skip the matching record? In other words, do you want to create a new record? And then the second question is, if multiple matching records exist, do you want to, want to update the most recent modified matching record, which is most likely the one that you're working on, even though you have duplicates, or do you want to skip all the matching records as well and create yet another duplicate? That's it. You just have to answer these two questions. So if you want to prevent duplicates when you're creating records, you essentially select update the matching record. That way you don't create a duplicate. And for the second question, 
you can say update the most recent modify matching record. That way, at least you're not creating a yet another duplicate on top of your potential duplicate records. So you could change the condition requirements for this if you'd like, but you can add logic. So these are the only two options that we have. Anyway, I'm super excited about this new feature, but I want to hear from you. Let me know in the comments below whether you think this is something you're going to be using. Until next time.